Hi guys and welcome to the Film Monk Show, the channel that provides entertaining independent short film and teaches you everything film related. I'm your host HFM and this week we'll be learning about lighting whilst reviewing some terrible acting by me. Quality isn't solely dependent on the most expensive camera. Quality comes from a number of factors, one of the most important factors being lighting. Let's talk about the most basic lighting setups, the three point light system. Yes you guessed it, it consists of three lights. Firstly, we'll start with the key light. We use the key light as a harsh light. It usually defines the side of the actor's face. Next, the fill light. The fill light is usually on the side opposite to the key light. Lastly, the rim light. The rim light is usually behind our actor and is used to separate our actor from the background, adding depth to our frame. Now that we know what the three point light system is, that's it. You know how to light a set. Well, not quite. The three point light system is generally used for corporate style video to evenly light an actor. But an evenly lit actor doesn't necessarily mean an interesting picture. Let's make it more interesting. When lighting an actor, a picture with high contrast will look a lot more interesting than a flat picture with no contrast. So how do we achieve this? Let's start off simple. Before LED panels, there was natural light. You'd be surprised at what natural light can do to a picture. If done correctly, you can use a natural light source alone and achieve some really cool looking shots. In this example, we're using our window light as a key light. This can be used to achieve a certain mood within your shot. Now instead of adding a fill light, let's add a rim light. We have depth in the shot and we've only really added one light in. Now let's add a fill light in once again, but we'll turn our light intensity down and diffuse the light to make it super soft. Beautiful, and we've only used two lights and a natural light source. The fill light can be used to show subtle details on an actor's face. The intensity of the light should always depend on the mood you are trying to achieve. Generally, higher contrast will depict a moodier fill. The point I'm making here is you don't need to use all lights in a three point system, it just depends on the fill you're trying to create. Now, onto some terrible acting. So in this scene, we have me watching TV at night. I was trying to emulate the ambience from a TV light and moonlight. So we have a light diffused with an umbrella in front of me and CTV to create a late night TV show with a moonlit ambience. We have a key light creating harsh light on my face, however slightly diffused due to its distance away from me. I also shaped the light so it wouldn't spill into areas where I didn't want light. Next, we have a light on the side with CTO, which is referred to as a kicker. I use this to offer a subtle color difference, but at the same time bring out some detail in the armchair and other features on me. Just behind me, you have a practical light. Practical lights are lights in the form of lamps and other alternatives. They can be used creatively to add depth into a scene and light certain points of interest. I use this practical light since I didn't have a rim light behind me, but wanted to separate myself from the background, hence the warmer colour tone. I opted to leave the fill light out as I was going for low-key lighting, but again, it depends on the mood you want to depict. So now you know the different types of lighting, try different setups to see what can be achieved. Remember, harsher lights create a moodier fill. We didn't get into cutting light as such, but light can always be shaped. Use that to create an interesting feel rather than having your whole act to lit. But we hope you learned some new techniques to creatively light your set. If you have any questions, comment below and we'll get back to you. If you like the video, please like the video. Turn on your notifications and become a filmmonger by subscribing to get the latest tutorials and entertaining short films. We'll see you next time. You still there? Go check out our social media accounts for occasional behind the scenes inside. The links are below.